and they're off. They race over two miles for the into Eldon Square. Shop, eat, repeat. Novices hurdle race and they're travelling towards the back of the field by Cavan Tara as they take the turn and begin to head back towards us for the first time. The overall back marker is Montreche Mix. So swinging the turn and heading down the straight towards flight number one, which will also be the last in the circuit's time. We've got a new leader. It's the Linksman and Jonathan England, who's bowling along now in front, shows the way by three to four lengths to Rossa Milan towards the far side in the orange and purple. And Dame Rose in the beige jacket. The Linksman just shortened into the first flight of hurdles and was out jumped by a couple behind. So heading up towards this jacket with a white cap, pressing on towards flight number two then. And Dame Rose has come for a share of it with Rossa Milan and the Linksman towards the near side. Not much to choose between the three on land position. Out wide of that one is Getaway Bay. Then no boundaries between horses. Dame Rose towards the inside of the Linksman. Not much to choose between the two. A gap of three and a half to Getaway Bay racing in third place. And then Rossa Milan, who's lost a little bit of ground towards the inside rail, is next in the field. Deep of those is no boundaries as they head down the far side. Roll flag is with that little group as well. So heading off towards the next this is flight number four and up front Dame Rose and the Linksman still nothing to choose between them their right flag is challenging him for that position as they swing back towards us then reminders for the leader Dame Rose but she's been kept up to her work and she's staying on powerfully enough down the straight Dame Rose then to Tetrate Style who's now six or seven back in second they're clear of Royal Flag then the Linksman followed through by No Boundaries and Cavan Tara trying to stay on but here's the final flight of hurdles for Dame Rose she's popped over well and she's got away by about eight to Tetrate Style in second Inside the final furlong they come. Dame Rose being kept up to her work by Danny Cook. is pulling further clear on the run-in and will go on to notch a victory for trainer Richard Hobson. Dame Rose will go on to win. He's down in the end to Tetra Style in second. Cavan Tara stayed on well to come through for third. Could be tight in the end for fourth. Royal flag and the Linksman going past with no boundaries on the far side. Jumping away then, steady away for the Racing UK Maiden Hurdle, starting off down the far side where there are just two hurdles to jump today. In Our Blood, one of the outsiders with Blunderbuss up there in the early stages. And In Our Blood has unseated Ryder at the very first flight. Adam Shaw disputed with Blunderbuss as they come down towards the second flight of hurdles. They're over, necessarily the right way to go about things on a day where stamina is at a premium. On the outside, our Dean Lass to flight number five, and then they'll go round again in the Racing UK maiden hurdle race. Little to choose between Blunderbuss and Berkshire Downs down the near side. Berkshire Downs slightly quitched a pair of them down the far side today, and it's Berkshire Downs and Blunderbuss over safely and okie dokie. Next flight, the final one on the far side. Blunderbuss didn't jump as well as one or two of the others around, and Carrick Cross Boy way. Turning out of the back then, these three flights of hurdles then await them in the Racing UK maiden hurdle with Berkshire Downs in front narrowly from Blunderbuss and Caventara third. So Sandy Thompson's runners first and third at the moment turning in. Then Sunny Destination, who's racing just a fraction ahead of Ardeen Lass. These five group up a little bit now as they come down toward the third last flight of hurdles. Still not much to choose between Berkshire Downs and Blunderbuss over that one. Caventara made a small mistake. Ardeen Lass over on the far side getting going. And then in behind those, Sunny Destination. These five are clear from Carrick Cross Boys. They now head on down towards the second last. The loose horse getting in the way of Blunderbuss a bit there. And to the front, Caventara has now jump to the lead under Danny Cook ahead of Ardeen Lass. These two have gone on from Blunderbuss. Sunny Destination and Berkshire Downs well beaten off. One left to jump now. Ardeen Lass on the far side uh, jumping together with Caventara down the near side. The two of them clear from Blunderbuss. Onto the run in they come then and Caventara just forging on now. Caventara going on from Ardeen Lass. Caventara. Danny Cook's only ride of the day wins on Caventara. Beat Sardine Lass, Blunderbuss third home, fourth was Sunny Destination. For the Bruce Farms supporting World Horse Welfare Novices Handicap Chase, two miles seven and a half furlongs are in front of this field and they'll jump 17 fences. Kevin Tara out on the left, on the right is Emirata Katana and they're closely followed by Stony Rover coming into the wings of the opening obstacle. 
And they've all crossed it safely. Oscar Ceremony, the black and yellow striped cap, is over towards the inside of Indian Brave. And the back marker early on is Schwade's arm as the field of six head on up the Kelso Hill on the opening occasion and are about to set out for two further circuits of the chase track here. So Kevin Tara, son of the brilliant staying race mayor Lavonture from a few years ago, is uh, practically level here with Emirata Katana as they come towards the second fence. Both jump it well. At the back end of the field at Schwade's arm, perhaps not getting overly high, but no real harm done as they now venture out away from us. And up ahead, it is Emirata Katana and uh, Kevin Tara. They are the leading pair, Stony Rover. Head to the first of the three fences, all plain, going down the far side of the race course. Emirata Katana out jumping Kevin Tara. And at the back of the field, Schwade's arm, again a little hair raising at it as they quickly come to the fourth. Kevin Tara, better than Emirata Katana, with back in behind them at Stony Rover. Oscar Ceremony in the hands of Henry Brook, the bottom weight. And then a little wider out to Indian Brave and Schwade's arm at the rear as they cross another, and again all landing safely. And they're now fourth is Oscar Ceremony as they now come towards the first of the fences along the side heading back towards us. They've all taken that safely. So Stony Rover and Oscar Ceremony are third and fourth. Fifth is Indian Brave, and the back marker by a further two lengths is Schwade's arm, having his first start over fences today. All safely across that as they're now on the approach to the first of the two open ditches in the race. Aventara. Into the wings of it. Jumping well. All over safely. Perhaps far left is Stony Rover. Oscar Ceremony racing together with Indian Brave. And the back marker is at Schwade's arm as they cross the fence, which will be the last in a circuit. They're all over it safely. And racing on. Between fourth, Oscar Ceremony then follows Indian Brave in the green jacket and Schwade's arm is last of all as they head out for another circuit of Kelso and come towards the first fence out on this circuit, all taking it safely. As they race now into the back straight and towards fence number 11 of 17. A mile left to travel and over this one Kevin Tara landing in a little bit of a heap on the outside Emirata Katana as they close in on the 12th fence, Kevin Tara. Out jumping Emirata Katana that time. Oscar Ceremony along the inside improving a fraction without wider on the track Stony Rover. Indian Brave in between horses and Schwade's arm is still in touch at the rear of the field as they jump five out. And all landing to struggle is Stony Rover just sliding back and Schwade's arm along the inside and that was a great jump from Kevin Tara at the fourth from home. Kevin Tara by a length now to in second position Emirada Katana with back in behind them along the inside Oscar Ceremony as again Kevin Tara jumps spring heeled. Back in fourth is Indian Brave and coming to grief at the back of the field Stony Rover but looked beaten at the time. A long last now is Schwade's arm. So it is Kevin Tara bringing them back towards the home straight. A length ahead to a now pushed along Emirada Katana with a close-up in behind them Oscar Ceremony who's now looking to deliver a late punch they're being followed in fourth by Indian Brave and further back to Schwade's arm this is the final open ditch two from home and again Kaventara jumps well Kaventara now Oscar Ceremony is being produced has gone second back in third and weakening is Emirata Katana and then Indian Brave as they make the run towards the final fence and it is Kaventara showing in front by four lengths or so to Oscar Ceremony who doesn't appear to be getting any closer at the moment Here's the last. Cavantara jumps it well, jumps it better than in second place. Oscar Ceremony back in third is Emirata Katana, and along that one's inside Indian Brave, and they're racing into the closing stages. And it is this son of Lavonture, Cavantara, for trainer Sandy Thompson. A change of luck for the stable given what happened in the first, and it's Ryan Manny, his first winner's back. Cavantara goes on to win. Uh, from in second position, Oscar Ceremony back in third will be uh, Indian Brave, and across the line in fourth was Emirata Katana. Kevin Tara has made just about every yard of the running. He's one for Sandy Thompson and Ryan Manny. Well done to Ryan with his first winner back. Oscar Ceremony second, Indian Brave third.
Miles the journey, 24 fences to negotiate and Terry the Fish is smartly into stride with Dawson City and Cavan is racing three wide as they negotiate the first bend and prepare to negotiate the first fence and over they go watching them going over it, just your type who nicely in touch, no Hasselhoff and Big River, an Akil Road boy, Cavan lands in front there, jump this Cavan the leader from Dawson City landing at a length, right back Katya Dawson City, Big Iron on his hip, Terry the Fish went sideways, Katya and Dawson City, Big Iron on his hip is just in behind them, going over that fence, and the informed Bafana blue red sleeves, Brian Barana is following, is following that one, being chased by West Street, Brian Barana and Big River, and right at the back is Antiros, and this is the last fence on lap number one. Over they go, and uh, they have all, and Big River the running order behind. Going on towards the first fence on the second circuit, Cavanagh's Cavantara leads by three parts of a length to right back at you in Dawson City, watching the others going over, all safely across it at the back end of the field. So this is the middle one down the far side. Cavantara picks up in front there. Back, Cavantara right back at you, big iron on his hip, Dawson City there, the front four. Terry the Fish is just in behind though but they're still keeping close company as they now make the run towards the 13th Cavantara and right back at you the front two going into this fence being followed over it by Big Iron on his hip and uh, that one is being chased the inside by Dawson City Terry the Fish and then Bafana Blue just your type no Hasselhoff against the rail Akil Ra oh, Cavantara has gone Cavantara the leader has gone there several were hampered behind and the big river's been brought down so Cavantara the pace setter has crashed That Damien's Dilemma, one of the first to show, and uh, jump so, and uh, then the Delray Monkey, Dolly Dancer, and uh, Charlie Snow Angel. Coming up and over the next fence, Zari Rosa Lee, a neck back to King of Fashion as they come over the first fence uh, going back. Damien's Dilemma, over that well, and they've all landed safely enough. Cavantara up towards the outside, who was actually sent off favourite for the Borders National on this day 12 months ago, only to tip up. Yeah, but uh, his dam, L'Aventure, won a Borders National uh, many years ago, uh, back in 2009. Cavantara, the red and yellow diamonds on the outside. Dolly Snow Angel and uh, Dolly Dancer are the uh, going towards another plain one with uh, up in leading two. Coming now towards this open ditch. Back in third on, they just wipe some mud away as they cross the next foot. And uh, then up along at the inside of uh, that one goes Gypsy Lee Rose, Dr. Glass a little deeper out as they cross them towards the first going down the back. Cavan is out of the race. Horse and rider appear to be absolutely fine. Sand defense number 13, again this plane. Some eye catching progress being made by the Delray Monkey, a quite badly detached, has lost at further ground as Cavantara picks up just ahead at four out to Dr. Glass Sandhurst Lab, the Delray Monkey on the outside. Further back then to Gypsy Lee Rose as they're on the approach to the third fence from home. Cavantara goes right through that fence. A really good recovery there from Ryan Mass coming up as two from home and Dr. Glass that time rose in front. Gypsy Lee Rose is trying to stage a late run down the outside. Cavantara up along the inner, approaching the final fence here. And it is the Delray Monkey in front. The Delray Monkey half a length to in second place on touching. As well backed, the Delray Monkey's a popular winner. Second place goes the way of Gypsy Lee Rose. Further back to Dr. Glass, Dolly Dancer, Charlie Snow Angel out a bit wide.